Hi guys and welcome back to a new video of mine um, Yeah, I'm actually still figuring out what I'm gonna film exactly But I think it might just be a little chit chat with me I um, Yeah, I was meant to film before we are going before we're going on holiday as you can see behind me our bags We are busy packing for our holiday to Greece um, Yeah, I was planning to film just me clearing out my closet putting my summer things in because I was still needing to do that um, but in the meantime I started packing and I was like oh I don't have the energy for this I am a little bit sick if I sound a little bit nasally and um, I'm like getting over that hump like I think today might be the last day of like actually feeling sick and then from tomorrow I'll feel better so just a lot of other things happened for me to not film what I wanted to film but that's okay so I think what I will do is I'm just going to sit here and chat with you guys a little bit. I know it's not for everyone and it might be boring. I don't always like sit down videos with people. Um, but I promise the next video I will make it more fun, take you along and do things. I might, I'm not going to promise it, um, insert some things of me still doing while I pack. Maybe not, we'll just see. But uh, yeah, I was still mean to give you guys an update on how my half marathon went. And that uh, I ran in May already and it's the 12th of June. But if you have not seen that uh, video, you can go back. It's literally just the previous video. I'll put, maybe I can put a link or something. But um, yeah, I said at the end of that video that in the next video, which is this one, I will just explain a little bit of how I found during the run because I didn't speak. I just ended the video when I was done. Um, I just wanted to get home from Belgium and chill and eat burgers. Um, but yeah, so I was still meant to give you an update on that. So I'll just speak a little bit on how my first half marathon experience race was. And then, yeah, my plans on running a, a marathon, uh, which is super exciting. Actually in Barcelona, I will be running it there uh, next year. And then, uh, yeah just maybe a little bit of updates and then we'll see where it goes um i literally did not plan i just put the video on and i just wanted to speak i want to film um so first things first my uh half marathon that i ran was in belgium and as i said now it's been already a while ago and yeah sorry just uh, quickly i am sick so sorry about everything that's going on i don't look my best i was just like i'm just gonna come on camera and film so um yeah i just wanted to mention that i literally look like uh, not the best but it is what it is um so i uh, ran my half marathon i finished it um, if you watch my video already you would have seen I finished it I finished it with a time that was way better than I thought it would be I um, did not stop once which still till this day I'm like how the hell did I do that because that seems even tough for me now when I run a 12k I'm like how the hell did I do half a marathon but I did that um, I yeah initially was definitely stressed definitely had like worry like will I be able to do this because up until that point I only ran at 18 kilometers so I um, yeah started the race I uh, was a tiny bit nervous saw my boyfriend at the starting line like say hi um, and then I was all by myself and I just ran and it definitely took me a while to get into things. I started seeing on my watch immediately that I was um, definitely faster than on my um, training days. And then uh, yeah, around the seven, eight kilometers is where I started to feel, okay, this might become a little bit easier. Um, and then I would say yeah, from between eight and 10 is when I really got into it. And then up until I would say 15 kilometers, it went quite okay. Like just nice like not a lot of like too much effort that I need to put in then um, I saw my boyfriend at 15 kilometers again and after that till 16 was quite okay but after 16 is when I really tried to like I was like okay I can feel it it was it's weird like I could feel it was tough but I could also feel like I can do this I have it in me um, and then after the 18 kilometers is where I actually started to feel like oh this is a lot of work like I was ready for the finish line to be there and I'm, I was ready to be done 
I'm sorry if I look out like our windows here with the whole road and people moving um, so I might get distracted but uh, yeah so the only part I started to really struggle was from I would say 19 kilometers um, and yeah I did it I finished it I'm so incredibly proud of me if there's something you want to do fitness wise um, or even something else but my experience what I did now was like fitness related um, yeah just do it it's literally uh, take small steps every day um, consistently and high frequency and eventually those small things will become big things and the big things will become a lot of things um, and that's how I started doing my running I started to run a lot in a zone uh, two um, just doing like 5k's and then yeah gradually over a course of I think was it like eight months yeah I ended up at a half marathon so yeah I just wanted to give you a little bit of more like information that didn't actually speak on how it was and then for my next race it will be a marathon and I will be doing the Barcelona 2024 marathon and if I'm correct it's on the 16th of March and I am so excited for it slash definitely very nervous um realizing how i felt after my half marathon and thinking you need to do it twice so that's that's gonna be a tough one but i love you know um pushing myself uh, especially with fitness like experiencing what the body can do when you work towards you know a bigger goal and pushing your body and um i'm still young i can still move i'm turning 31 in like two weeks um so i want to do things well you know my body are still able to do certain things and i've always wanted to run at least a half marathon was always you know something i wanted to do um with a marathon i just always believe like it's just impossible you can't do it and i had a knee injury back in the day so i always just felt like i can't do it and now yeah my knee it's still there but it's very much in the background sometimes not even there at all so um yeah we are flying at the thursday um, and then come back the monday uh, flights are booked hotels are booked and i've signed up got my ticket and uh, my boyfriend is coming with me he will be supporting me and i will be running it uh, because it's my first one he will yeah you know support me from the side and gives me some tips since he has done one already um but yeah so very excited for that and my plan uh, for like training um and you guys will see that whole experience i would think i will make maybe a series of uh, training for my marathon uh, but that will only come a little bit later in this year because i'll only purposely start training for that from october of this year um because otherwise you run for at least in my opinion for way too long and you get over it it's too much on your legs um that's at least just how i think like don't quote me on anything and that's just how i will do it and i, I would love to do it and um, it's now the 12th of june up until end of september i will just make sure i keep a ba basic level of fitness around 15 kilometers uh, running and um yeah then in october i will start working towards like a 32 34 kilometers that's usually where your training kilometers goes up to um, and the rest is just on your yeah build up stamina and fitness over your training period um so yeah so for now the only thing i will do is as i said keep my 15 kilometer uh fitness in running i'm currently at running at 12 kilometer it took me quite a while to build it back up my legs were so fatigued and so tired for like a month if it, yeah at least a month um and i'm now at the 12 kilometer i'm sick now i wanted to push it up this week but i'm not running this week um maybe in a week or two i'll do a 13 but i'm taking it very slowly building it back up again um but that experience is so much built in your body you can feel like this history of running distances it's so it's so crazy but so such a nice feeling um but yeah i'll do the the runs over the summer till 15 kilometers around that area and then i want to really work hard in the gym just building yeah i just want to be strong because i lost a little bit of that 
training for running the past eight months i was just focused on running three times in a week and then i can't do like a lower body workout before i do runs i just can't my body is not that strong and so used to the gym so it's so tight and sore and everything and then when you go on a run you need your muscles and your body to work properly so currently i go to the gym three times and then i run twice a week and those runs are not for performance it's literally just to keep my fitness and i'm more so working on my speed hopefully i can improve my speed a little bit even though i'm even though slower than my half marathon it's just so my body is not cooperating and running at the moment but that will come um and then yeah in october i will switch that to three times a week running and two times gym and then those gym workouts will be more mobility like things that will support my running if that makes any sense so i will uh, definitely somewhere in the next few videos maybe show you a week of training what i do now just as a literally a normal finance girl living in Utrecht, um that's just enjoying you know doing things uh like running wise and gym wise and um, definitely not a fitness person i will never be i will yeah that, i just do it because i love it um and uh yeah so that's the update on that and then yeah we're going on a week holiday now <coughs> we're going to corfu uh, in uh, greece so excited for it like i cannot wait it's wednesday today tomorrow uh, we will sleep over at my uh, boyfriend's father's house because he will drop us off friday morning at four o'clock at the airport because we fly in the morning early so um yeah that's why we're packing today so that when my boyfriend comes back from work tomorrow we immediately just go to his uh, dad so we will be yeah, making sure everything is back today and then we offer a week um, I'll definitely take some footage I'm taking my camera with just to you know film memories of me and my boyfriend um, and but I don't want the idea of that I want to film it for YouTube uh, just not to put the pressure on me or on him or just in general like I just want to film what I want to film and then maybe in the next video or so I can maybe like show a little bit of it if I feel like it um, so you might see some of it even if it's just of like everything else but us but um, yeah so we'll see but I am so excited I haven't been traveling in Europe I think for more yeah, like a year now last June we were in Santorini uh, for a quick trip uh, so it's been quite a while uh, very very excited to go and we'll be renting a car driving on the island we go we stay three places we'll rent a boat for one day uh, go snorkeling do beach clubs uh, hikes and running and uh, just so excited for proper summer weather and beautiful beaches um, I'll definitely show you a little bit like I just have to it's gonna be so beautiful um, and yeah other than that uh, yeah I'm turning 31 in two weeks and uh, we just had our had our housewarming party this weekend we kept it for uh, summer because we moved in this place mid of January and we wanted to keep the house warming for a nice and sunny day we have a big terrace upstairs uh, so yeah we had that this week and which was amazing all our friends it's so nice i tell my boyfriend to see my friends hanging out with his friends especially like for our wedding one day and for everyone to mingle and getting to know each other and um yeah and me also just getting closer with his friends like that was always like a thing for me that I was like wondering how it will work out because with my previous relationship that I had in school like I didn't get along with his friends at all like they just did not like me it's based on things he always told them and it was just not a nice feeling like that's something I also maybe want to film one day just speaking in general about because I've been in one long eight-year toxic relationship and now I know and I can say it with very much confidence that I'm in a very very healthy respectful and loving relationship and the things I've learned and seen and even sometimes still struggle with because of my previous relationship um, yeah I would love to speak about those things I'm very passionate about that because if you've went through that and you also see other people going through it in 
plug um, <clears throat> in your life, friends, family members. Uh, yeah, you get so passionate, like you want to fight for them, and yeah, maybe there's other people out there that can also relate. It can just be a fun topic to speak about. So I'm becoming now very nasally saying that he's uh, like getting along with my boyfriend's friends, and I've never had that in the past, and that it's truly so amazing. Just like his friends are my friends, and he's uh, my boyfriend's friends girlfriends are also my friends like it's just so nice it just you really know when a person is just meant to be in your life because everything just jowls and um yeah one thing that i can say is in the past like sometimes a friend of mine will ask like how do you know that it's the one and i feel like I can truly say that I always feel shit like speaking up like highly about my relationship. I think it's just because I'm scared people think like, oh, I think I've got this good relationship. But yeah, I, I don't know. I feel weird like speaking about it. Please don't take it the wrong way. I just, um, because I had different experiences, like this one is so, so different and so good that I feel like have an opinion on it. But um, yeah, basically what I just wanted to say is... Um, you will just know that it's the right one because there's no uncertainty, there's no red flags, there's no, um, yeah, especially if you experience a toxic, not the right guy for you and you experience the right guy, you will know when it's the right guy. Like it will scream so loudly, you will know it. Um, it's just a peaceful, contained feeling you have. Um, but anyway, so that was nice, having the house warming, and um, <clears throat> that's basically what has been going on in my life. Uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, I feel a little bit shitty about this video, just me sitting chatting here, but I know there's some people that uh, really just love also what, to know what's going on in my life, and hearing all the chit chat, and sometimes there will be videos for, you know, everyone to enjoy, sometimes maybe just for a handful of people, um, I'm making myself insecure about it, but at the end, I also need to stay true to filming what I feel in the moment and not put that pressure on me to, you know, think the whole time of what people want. Um, but one thing, actually, I went this week for the first time and I curled my lashes. I want to show you. Sorry, excuse my red nose. How nice is that? It was the first time that I've ever uh, did a lash stand. And I will highly recommend it if you go on holiday, like I won't do it on a daily. But if you go on holiday, if you can see, I'm trying to look at the camera. Like it's just like so, they're also tinted like uh, darker. But it's actually so nice because you, I just feel I don't have to put on like mascara or anything. And I don't have any lace, lash extensions, it's my own lashes. It's just lifted and curled and then tinted. And now I can like go to the beach. I just look more put together because my lashes are quite straight and like a light color. Um, so yeah, I did that. Also a great experience, definitely a long experience. It takes almost like an hour to do, like 50 minutes I think. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I just wanted to yeah, tell you guys what has been going on. I think for future videos, what you guys can expect is definitely uh, a little bit of my traveling coming up with my boyfriend. Um, and then I will do some fitness related videos of just what I do to keep fit. Um, and then I definitely want to do like sit and speak content a lot about life like I've just experienced so much in the past uh well I feel just in my life and I, I'm not saying like everyone does but I have a YouTube channel which I love to talk to people do so I just want to speak about everything I've experienced like about mental health in the past uh, two years about my parents divorce about being in a shitty relationship um you know losing friends I've definitely lost a few friends um you know, figuring out your career, not liking the work you do, um, you know, people's opinions, um, trying to, you know, impress people, um, being okay with fine, certain finances, just so much things that I feel like is an everyday topic in people's lives. <coughs> 
So I definitely maybe want to start a series or something on my YouTube channel just to be like once in a month I just speak about some a topic um, and then uh, like short like maybe 10 minutes and I actually think about what I want to say and I keep it to like 10 minutes it's not too long sorry needed to cough um but yeah so maybe like a little bit chatty videos about that uh fitness videos uh work related videos and then um yeah just things happening in my life if i go you know do shopping like all those things uh driving we got a new car i will speak about that in another video um the one that we have was just a temporary car and now we got an electric car because my uh, boyfriend's company only provides electric cars which is very much new to me but yeah i just want to show you the bits and pieces like for you guys to have an escape of your own reality for a second at least that's why i watch youtube um but yeah i'm gonna end the video then there i hope you enjoyed this chit chat and all these things i wanted to still show maybe a few bits of other things but i'll just quickly show you just for the people that are curious let me show you let me just zoom you out this is literally what our bag looks like we're just taking one bag we're not taking that much clothes it's just for a week but we've got yeah some workout clothes just two pairs each we got just one backpack uh, with water then all my clothes is on this side just loads of crop tops like these Zara crop tops are my favorite. Um, just loads of that, and then um, just short pants, and then uh, here I've got dresses uh, that I packed under there. That's my boyfriend's side, and here it's just like beachy things we take, like towels. I've got snorkel gear, a floaty, his flip flops, and bats and balls, and then in here I'm busy packing toiletries. Um, all our um, what do you call it sunscreen we'll need I've got all our tablets and shit in there and I bought this bag actually which is so nice that I will take us my backpack there is space I've got my curling iron and my straighten in there like so much space in this bag I've got like all my bras um, and underwear in there got my bikinis stacked in here in every bag meaning like five bikinis and then I've got shoes you put it in the bottom it's so nice like here you zip it and then it basically comes in here shoes that I've got in there and then I have this on my back and it's not that big actually um, but it fits a lot of things um, but that's what our packing is looking like and um, what else is there that I can show you guys? It's very boring. I'm busy making dinner now. We're gonna eat um, just, yeah, jacket potatoes, but sweet potatoes. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video there and I hope you enjoyed this little update. Um, but yes, then I'll see you in my next video. I'll definitely show you guys a little bit. Just wanna walk here, somebody's seeing me there. Um, let me just put that one down, that's too bright. I will um, definitely put in some footage of our trip to Corfu and um, you'll see, I'll mix it in with another video. Um, or maybe if it's good enough, I can make a video of Corfu by itself, we'll see. But I hope it's going good with you guys and thank you so much for everyone that is watching and liking my videos and then yeah i will see you in two weeks um with a brand new video and i will yeah make it a little bit more fun because i know i've been slacking a little bit um but as i said things have just been happening but okay i'm gonna go now bye